Hey guys, welcome to a new unboxing video. I hope you're all having a really fantastic day, whatever you've been up to. Today for you, I've got a food unboxing video. So this is a subscription box, but it's a little bit different because this is gonna give you the chills. Now, in case you don't know, Degusta Box is a monthly food subscription box. Um, I'm gonna link my playlist above where you can see all the boxes they bring out each month. Uh, they do limited edition boxes, including the advent calendar, which looks insane. I cannot wait to get my hands on this one. But alongside that, they also do cold boxes. Now, these only come out, I think it's twice a year. So once in October and then once in March. And if you sign up for both of them, you pay $12.99 per box. And the value is always over about 24 pounds. If you like being creative in the kitchen, trying new foods and actually saving a little bit of money, then this might be a subscription box that you might like to check out yourself. So I had my very first Degusta cold box delivered this month and I have to say I'm pretty impressed. So I'm going to show you everything I got. I have thrown the actual box away because I was having a bit of a clear out and it was just like cardboard city in here because it was my birthday. Now the one thing I would say is a little bit different to your normal standard Degusta box. It comes all like in a chill pack. Um, it comes very quickly delivered and you obviously have to put it away to keep it nice and cold in the fridge or the freezer or whatever you want to do. Um, it doesn't come with a card either that tells you all about the items that are inside your box. So I'm just going to show you the products that I got and you guys can make your mind up as to whether or not you think it's good value. So the first thing I got was the Tropicana Sensations Passion Fruit Punch. I mean, this looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. It's got a really long shelf life on it. Looks delicious. I mean, yeah, contains vitamin C, one of your five a day. Uh, there was a pie. So this is the Higgle Idy Family Kitchen Pie. So this is spinach and pine nut with Greek feta. Now this one did have quite a short shelf life. It came up on the 31st of October. I put it in the freezer, make it last for as long as possible. Um, but yeah, very nice, very tasty. It looks really yummy. We got some of my favorite pasta. So this is the Rana um, kind of like pasta with like terracotta and cheese and stuff inside it this one's got mozzarella um and prosecco prose prosciutto um it's like a little hammy thing it's really delicious this is like my favorite one absolutely love it really really tasty and again these ones normally have a really long shelf life so we've got some fish uh so these look very nice um i'm not the biggest fan of fish but um my sister is so i'm gonna give these to her when she comes round again you know really long shelf life on those we got some pigs in blankets uh so these are the 10 british pork cocktail sausages uh gluten free uh wrapped in bacon i mean how tasty do they look really really nice absolutely delicious we got the vegetarian butcher vegan soy based chicken so this is meant to be like fake chicken like you know a vegetarian version of chicken um yeah i don't know what that's gonna be like i'm interested to try it obviously but uh we got a nomadic yogurt and oat clusters in strawberry oh my gosh how good does this look Again, really great shelf life. So you've got little clusters in there with strawberry bits and then a strawberry yogurt as well. So tasty. We got the biggest pot of pesto style sauce. So you could actually take maybe the chicken, put that with the pesto sauce, maybe have a few other little bits on top. I mean, you know, that is very, very nice. Yeah, love, lovely, love pesto. Always happy to try more pesto. So we got the Elsinore Lump Fish Caviar. Now, I've never tried caviar before and I feel like this is one of those foods that maybe you like take to like a Christmas party, you'll get it out and go, hey, does anyone want to try this? Um, to see if anybody likes it. I mean, I don't know, like, let me know in the comment section below, have you ever tried caviar before? We got a big pot of my favorite, favorite dip, uh, tzatziki. Um, so this looks so good. Again, really great shelf life on this one. It's the Holy Moly Tzatziki. It's vegan. 
Um, yeah, 180 grams, something like that, 155 grams. So yeah, really good size. Um, we got a drink. So we got the Shaken Other Dairy-Free Strawberry Drink made with coconut milk. So this one is 330 mils, keep chilled. Um, Plant-based, no artificial colours, less than 5% sugar, high in calcium. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a strawberry milkshake. Um, and then finally, I got some cheese. I'm assuming it's cheese. Yes, it's cheese. Um, I have a feeling it's like a camembert of some description. I just have to like, you know, maybe bake it or something and have some bread with it. So guys, that was everything that I got in my first ever chilled degusta box. I feel like there was so much kind of like little bits in there to try to add to different meals, to play around with, a few things to put together, but also some snacks, some drinks, you know, I feel like it was a really nice selection. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to find out more about degusta box, all the details are in the drop box below along with any discount codes that I have. But for now, enjoy, take care. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye.